And today we're on the next chapter of George's Marvelous Medicine by Royal Door, illustrated by Quentin Blake. Chapter 7, The Brown Hen. George stood in the farmyard looking up at the roof. The old farmer old farmhouse had a, a fine roof of pale red tiles and tall chimneys. There was no sign of Grandma. There was only a song thrush sitting on one of the chimney's pots, singing a song. The old wurzels got stuck in the attic, George thought. Thank goodness for that. Suddenly, a tile came clattering down from the roof and fell into the yard. The thrush took off fast and flew away. Then another tile came down, then a half dozen more. Then, very slowly, like some weird monster rising from the deep, Grandma's head came through the roof, then her scrawny neck, and then the tops of her shoulders. How am I doing, boy? she shouted. How is that for a bash up? Don't you think you'd better stop now, Grandma? George called up. I haven't stopped, she answered. I feel terrific, didn't I tell you I had magic powers? Didn't I warn you I had wizardry in the tips of my fingers? Didn't I warn you? But you wouldn't listen to me, would you? You wouldn't listen to your old grandma. You didn't do it, grandma, George shouted back to her. I did it. I made you a new medicine. A new medicine? What rubbish. I did, I did, George shouted. You're lying as usual, Grandma yelled. You're always lying. I'm not lying, Grandma. I swear I'm not. The wrinkled old face high up on the roof stared down suspiciously at George. Are you telling me you actually made a new medicine all by yourself? She shouted. Yes, Grandma, all by myself. I don't believe you, she answered, but I'm very comfortable up here. Fetch me a cup of tea. A, a brown hen was pecking about in the yard close to where George was standing. The hen gave him an idea. Quickly, he uncorked the medicine bottle and poured some of the brown stuff into the spoon. What is Grandma? he shouted. He crouched down, holding out the spoon to the hen. Chicken, he said. Chicken, chick, chick, chicken, come here, have some of this. Chickens are stupid birds and very greedy. They think everything is food. This one thought the spoon was full of corn. It hopped over. It put its head on one side and looked at the spoon. To be honest, um, one of my friends has chickens and I do not think they're that stupid. I mean, they do. They are stupid when it comes to food, but um, not actually that stupid. They are pretty smart sometimes. But... Um, come on, chicken. Sorry, I just had to show my opinion like usual. No, but, um, come on, chicken, George said. Good chicken, tick, tick, tick. The brown hen stretched out its neck toward the spoon and it, peck, it got a beautiful, it got a beak full of medicine. The effect was electric. Sorry about the noise, my little brother's being kind of loud. Um... shrieked the hen. It shot up into the air like a rocket. It went as high as the house. Then down it came again into the yard. And there it sat with all its feathers all sticking straight out from its body. There was a look of amazement on its silly face. George stood watching it. Grandma, up on the roof, was watching it too. The hen got to its feet. It was rather shaky. It was making funny gurgling noises in its throat. Its beak was opening and shutting. It seemed like a pretty sick hen. You've done it, you stupid boy, Grandma shouted. The hen's going to die. Your father will be after you now. He'll give you socks and serve you right. All of a sudden, black smoke started pouring out of the hen's beak. It's on fire! Grandma yelled, the hen's on fire! George ran to the water trough to get a bucket of water. The hen will be roasted and ready for eating any moment, Grandma shouted. George sloshed a bucket of water over the hen. There was a sizzling sound and the smoke went away. 
Old hens lay this last day, Grandma shouted. Hens don't do anything lay don't do any laying after they've been on fire. Now that the fire was out, the hen seemed better. It stood up properly. It flapped its wings. Then it crouched low to the ground, as though getting ready to jump. It did jump. It jumped high in the air. It did a complete somersault, then landed back on its feet. It's a circus hen, Grandma shouted from the rooftop. It's a flipping acrobat. Now the hen began to grow. Hmm? 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 That's scary. George had been waiting for this to happen. It's growing, it's growing, Grandma. Look, it's growing. Bigger and bigger, taller and grew. Soon the hen was four or five times its normal size. Can you see it, Grandma? George shouted back. I can see it, boy, the old woman wa shouted back. I'm watching it. George was hopping about from one foot to the other with excitement, pointing at the enormous hen and shouting, it's had the magic medicine, Grandma, and it's growing just like you did. But there was a difference between the way that the hen was growing and the way Grandma grew. When Grandma grew taller and taller, she got thinner and thinner. The hen didn't. It stayed nice and plump all along. Soon it was taller than George, but it didn't stop there. It went, it went right on growing until it was about as big as a horse, then it stopped. Doesn't it look marvellous, Grandma? George shouted. It's not as tall as me, Grandma sang out. Compared with me, the hen is titchy small. I am the tallest of them all. And that is it for chapter eight. Um, it was as well as the Madden, so hope you are enjoying this. And please remember to like and subscribe. I know I am new to this whole YouTube channel thing, and um, I'm only a kid, and so, um, wait until I've, just wait, and over time, hopefully my channel will get better and better, and so, please help me out by subscribing. Okay. If you enjoyed this. Um, so see you next time.